everybody, James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a Brooks Brothers tie with a lot of color and a lot of shapes to it. I'll go over that with you in just a second. Um, we're going to be pairing that with a uh, dark blue shirt. It's a Brooks Brothers day, Brooks Brothers tie, Brooks Brothers shirt, and uh, a brown Zinnia suit, which we'll go over the look here in just a little bit. First we're going to talk about the tie. <coughs> Excuse me. Brooks Brothers makes a, a, a good product. You know, they're, they're uh, quintessential, uh, I mean, Abraham Lincoln were Brooks Brothers, for crying out loud. So they've been around uh, for a couple hundred years. Uh, oldest American clothier uh, or clothing company, um, and they make a good product. A lot of their stuff has been outsourced overseas, but their ties are still made here in America, and they make them with Italian silk. So if you're looking for a good quality product at a good price, Brooks Brothers is a good fit. Uh, you could compare them to a Salvatore Ferragamo as far as the look, the, the, the sizes, all that kind of stuff. They feel similar to a Ferragamo. They don't tie quite as good, uh, and the, the knot does come a little bit loose. And they're a little bit shorter than a Ferragamo as far as length. So the back of the tie doesn't hit the keeper when you do a full Windsor like I do, especially with a, a 16 and a half inch neck. But that being said, it's a good quality tie. And they're like half the price of Ferragamo ties. The silk lays really nice. Uh, this is a medium thin. Um, it's a, not a skinny tie, but not a wide tie. It's about three inches or so. Um, and this particular tie is uh, kind of a burgundy with some purple, shades of purple, a dark blue with some red and uh, white uh, geometric designs. And on my Instagram, you'll see close-ups of this. You can check it out closer and everything else. We're pairing this with this shirt today because the dark blue line in this tie matches the shirt and it should pull it out. So let's tie it up and see how this all comes together. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it's made of an Italian silk. So Brooks Brothers imports their silk from Italy uh, and then they, they manufacture them here in America for these ties. Uh, because it's not a super thick tie, I know I'm going to need somewhere around this length uh, for, for where I'm tying it at. So let's uh, start. We'll take the long part of the tie over top of the short part. We come underneath, up and through. Then we come down behind, holding the knot nice and tight, up, over, and through. Now I'll call this the checkpoint. I want to make sure this is all coming together nice, which it is. Now we'll go over the front of the triangle I'm creating here, holding it all nice and tight, back in behind, up and through. And then we create this little pocket. We're going to push the tie down through that little pocket, hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. And now we hold the knot, we pull on the long part to tighten it up. Nice tight knot. And then we hold the knot, pull on the short part to bring it up to the top. And we want to check for our length. We want the tip of the tie, this part of the tie, to be somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle when the tie is where it needs to be. And right now we are right at halfway through, so we did good there. Let's pull the collar down. Let's tidy this up. Okay, we don't want any gap here, so we're going to pull, well, to, to tighten this up, just so you guys know, I, I, just, I just do it automatically, sometimes I don't explain it. We want to pull on this part of the tie and hold the knot, and that pulls the tie, we, we kind of pull on this and push up at the same time. And that's how we bring our knot up without messing the tie up. Now we got our gap filled, we've got a beautiful triangle, I mean, Brooks Brothers ties tie a nice knot. Now this will start to work down a little bit throughout the day and I have to pull it back up, but it's a, it's a great quality for the price. I mean, their suits are half the price of Zinnia. Their ties are half the price of Zinnia Ferragamo. So I'm not promoting Brooks Brothers. I mean, I actually prefer the Italian brands myself as far as the feel and everything. I'm just saying, good bang for buck if you want a good product. The, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen, and I'm going to go through it with you right now. Our suit today is a Zinnia suit, a Myrna Gildo Zinnia. Uh, it, it is a brown suit. Um, we're pairing that today with a blue Brooks Brothers t uh, shirt. It's a dark blue, like a royal blue shirt. Um, we're pairing uh, that also with a, uh, with a burgundy and purple Brooks Brothers tie. Look how nice that all came together. Uh, we're wearing cufflinks today because these are French cuffs. The cufflinks are by Myrna Gildo Zinnia. There'll be close-ups on my Instagram of those. We've got a Salvatore Ferragamo belt. It's dark brown with a gold belt buckle. And we're pairing that today with a pair of Bally brown Oxfords. Bally is a very underrated shoe company. They make a phenomenal shoe product. On my Instagram, Tie Guy James Akers, the close-ups of the cufflinks, close-ups of the knot, the tie itself, the whole outfit stage, the belt, the shoes, everything. Selfies of me wearing the whole outfit so you can see what it looks like on me. Uh, but I tell you what, this came together really nice. I look classy and I am ready for work.